everyone. Welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today we've got a little project planned to kind of get ready for springtime. It's almost time to start cutting grass. In fact, I've been seeing a few people doing it and I'm actually kind of running a little bit behind on getting my maintenance and stuff done to have my mowers and uh, uh, tractor implements, that kind of stuff ready for spring. But we're in the process, you know, and I get home in the evenings from work, that kind of stuff. Then I try to uh, tackle a project to get something ready for whenever I'm ready to use it. So uh, right now I've got to uh, sharpen the blades on the zero turn. The, uh, we've got a Kubota Z421 and uh, I bought it last year, used it all season long. So I like to always freshen up the blades at the first of the season and uh, you know, kind of run through that kind of stuff. Of course, change the oil and the filter, that kind of stuff. And, uh, but today we'll be uh, changing or uh, taking the blades off and then sharpening them up and then putting them back on so. all right so what we're going to do here is i don't this is this model of kubota um doesn't have any type of a lift or you know anything because i know some of the uh some of the higher end models actually have where the front end actually will pivot and raise the mower up and that way you can get under it and like take the blades loose and stuff this one does not have anything like that it does have, um, like for the deck, you could just pull the pins out and drop the deck down on the ground. But then you're still going to have to lift the deck up, flip it over, or do something to be able to get to the blades. So, what I'm going to do is strap it to the forks on the tractor. So the next step is to take off the blades. So we got our Dewalt impact we're gonna use on that and that ought to get the job done. I know, I thought some mowers in the past have reverse threads, but these do not. These are standard lefty loosey, righty tighty. So that was simple enough, wasn't too big of a job. And uh, now we just gotta sharpen them up. And as you can see, just from one year of cutting, I don't know if you can see this in the camera or not, but the uh, the edge is definitely rounded. It's not a good sharp edge and it's got some little dings and nicks and stuff in it. But we're gonna dress that up and get it nice and sharp again so we're gonna go ahead and sharpen the blades and it's actually it's starting to get dark on me so um i don't know if i'll finish this tonight or not because it's getting kind of hard to see the edge of the blade and stuff to be able to to tell where i'm grinding so at so when you are going up to sharpen your blade you don't want to put your your wheel is actually turning this way and you don't want to put your blade into it like this because the stone then can catch that blade and could grab it and yank it out of your hands and throw it across the room or throw it into you or something. At least the way I've always been taught was always to present the blade or the edge away from the wheel. So as it spins, it spins off of the edge so it can't get hooked or caught on anything. So that's the way I've always been taught. And then you just kind of work your way slow. Be patient with it because, you know, this rounded edge is real easy to jump in there and uh, cut down too much and get too much right off the edge when you need to take it down and keep everything at the same exact angle as much as you can 
because this is the the most efficient way that the blade cuts and throws the grass so you want this angle and stuff to stay the same so just take your time with it don't try to get in a big hurry and just work your way down to where it gets to a nice sharp edge on it so like i say it's starting to kind of get dark and um i'll uh i'll run some of this footage of me sharpening the blades if you got any questions or anything about it feel free to leave those in the comments so i've already been sharpening on this a little bit i actually uh was going to film that part and then the uh camera i didn't realize it was turned off so i'll see if i can get the uh the edge in here it's kind of hard to see on the camera there you go there's still a couple little dings in the edge of the blade and um, what I'm gonna do after I go through and sharpen this I'm gonna take a file and just smooth out those little unevenness and stuff and just get it just right and uh, take a good flat file and smooth that off and then check and make sure that I've gotten to the point where it's gotten all them little uh, divots and and you know cut-ins out of the blade so that it doesn't have those imperfections in it and it's nice and sharp so uh, since I forgot to turn the camera on I'll go ahead and do another one and uh, that way you can see kinda how that works and like I say just make sure you pre you know present the uh, the stone going off the edge instead of you don't want to present the edge to the stone because it could catch so or at least that's the way I've always been taught so let's try it and uh, we'll see if we can make some sparks fly <laughs> As I go on this I'm actually working my way back from the edge and trying to keep the same cut each time to keep that edge as even as possible So it's starting to get dark on me, but uh, the main thing is here is getting getting that edge down there, which these now are quite sharp. You know, you could go through and file that and make it nice and even. I actually think I'm going to try it out like this and just see how see how everything does and see how the uh, balance is and all that kind of stuff and. We're going to try it from there, but I think that this will work out just fine. So our last little step is to just put the blades back on and uh, make sure they're tightened down good and try it out. So I also wanted to point out too that when you put your blades back on, you always want to make sure that the flat side of your blade is towards the ground. 
because whenever your gar grass clipping comes, whenever it cuts, it fling, it pushes off this blade and up this deflector, and that's what spins it inside your deck, and then flings it out the the discharge. So just make sure that flat side of the blade goes towards the grass. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It's gotten dark on me, and uh, just trying to wrap things up with the uh, the mower and put the blades back on tighten them back down and I'm gonna lower it down and take it and take it out into the grass turn it on see if anything feels funny and make sure everything feels good and tight and then I'll probably recheck those blades just to make a hundred percent sure because like I said this is the first time I've done it on this mower so I just want to make sure everything's good and tight and all that stuff so, so if you like videos like this make sure you click that like button subscribe and when you do make sure you click the little bell icon so that you'll get notifications whenever I upload new videos and uh, feel free to share this video with anybody you know that may be uh, wanting to sharpen their blades for the first time or maybe even on this particular mower but for most mowers it pretty much should be the same so I uh, hope this video helps out thanks for watching